And let's talk human rights issues. Nigeria currently has close to 300,000 refugees registered in Cameroon, Chad, and Niger. On the flip side, there are just over 60,000 refugees and asylum seekers registered in Nigeria. This year, the United Nations is again putting the spotlight on the difficulties they face during a global pandemic. A diplomatic correspondent, Shabujimo, reports. The United Nations says nearly 80 million women, children and men around the world have been forced from their homes as refugees or internally displaced people. As if that isn't sobering enough, a shocking 10 million of these people fled in the last year alone. The UNHCR over the last few years has constantly reeled out grim statistics on the subject. Nigeria currently has over 2 million internally displaced persons in the Northeast. 90% of them are in Borno, Adamawa and Yobe states. We must all work to re-establish the integrity of the international protection regime and to implement the pledges made at the Global Refugee Forum so that refugees and those communities receive the support they need. Outside the region, an estimated 578,119 people are displaced due to banditry and farmers' herders conflict. There are also 61,361 registered refugees and asylum seekers as of April 2020. Of this number, 60% are in Cross River State, 21% in Taraba, 12% in Benue, and 6% in Lagos. Though these people have endured immense hardship for many years, the UN is keen to stress that many of them are making a difference. IDPs are converting plastic waste to useful products such as handbags, shoes, mats, hand fans, key holders, and so on. In the midst of the COVID-19 uh, crisis, cooperatives have been set up under the UNHCR Protection Safety Nets in Boza and Bama LGAs in the Northeast and are employing their tailoring skills for producing face masks for commercial purposes. In the midst of all of this, the COVID-19 pandemic is posing an additional threat to refugees and displaced persons. This is why government says it has had to rethink the way it supports them. The ministry took a step further in developing modalities for inclusion of refugees in social safety nets through the national social investment programs. This year's World Refugee Day presents an opportunity for the UNHCR to drive home this message. Everyone can make a difference and everyone counts. Shagujubu, Silverbird News 24.